In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with alternate exterior angles. In the first example, we're just practicing finding pairs of exterior angles. It says, list all the pairs of alternate exterior angles in this picture. So there's going to be two pairs of alternate exterior angles. The first one would be angle one and angle eight. These two angles are alternate exterior because they're on opposite sides of the transversal T and they're both on the outside of the parallel lines L and M. Actually, those lines aren't marked as parallel, but they're still both on the outside of those lines. So our first answer is angle one and angle eight. The second pair of alternate exterior angles are angle two and angle seven. For the same reason, they're on opposite sides of the transversal and both on the outside of lines L and M. So my second answer is angle two and angle seven. Remember, because the lines are not marked as parallel, it means we can't say for sure that those pairs of angles are congruent. We only know that they are alternate exterior angles. Let's go to example B, where it says, find the measure of angle one and the measure of angle three. Now, angle one and the 47 degree angle there are vertical angles because they are created by intersecting lines and they're on opposite sides of those intersecting lines. That means they have to be congruent. So angle one has to be 47 degrees. So the measure of angle one equals 47 degrees. Next, let's try to figure out angle three. Well, there's two ways we could do it. Angle three is a corresponding angle with the original 47 degree angle, which means it has to be 47 degrees. Also, it's an alternate exterior angle with angle one. So angle three and angle one are alternate exterior angles. So again, they're going to be congruent because those lines are parallel. Either way, our answer is the same. The measure of angle three also equals 47 degrees. All right, let's go to the last example. This one says the map below shows three roads in Julio's town. Julio used a surveying tool to measure two angles at the intersections in this picture he drew, which is not to scale. Julio wants to know if Franklin Way is parallel to Chavez Avenue. All right, so let's look at this picture. Those two streets will be parallel if angle A and the 130 degree angle are congruent. Because in that case, we would have alternate exterior angles which are congruent. And if those angles are congruent, then lines will be parallel. So let's try to figure out angle A. I noticed that angle A and this 40 degree angle make a linear pair because together they make a straight line. That means they have to add to 180 degrees. So angle A must be 140 degrees because 140 plus 40 equals 180. Again, the reason is these are a linear pair. Now that we know angle A is 140 degrees, we can see that angle A and the 130 degree angle are not congruent. That means that the two streets are not parallel. So the answer is no, and the reason why is because the alternate exterior angles are not congruent. 